thank you for deciding to become a Tiger Den leader. We know you have a lot going on and we really appreciate your willingness to invest in Cub Scouting. You're showing your child that they're important to you and you're also demonstrating how to be a leader. Let me go ahead and put you at ease. Being a good den leader is not hard. Yes, there are some new things you'll need to learn, but we've made it really easy. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you take the online training at my.scouting.org for den leaders. The training is presented in small bite-sized pieces, making it easy for you to watch one or two when you have the time. The training can be viewed on a computer, tablet, or smartphone. Den leader training includes basic rules and ways to get parents involved, how children grow and develop, the highlights of the program, and where to find detailed information. And honestly, that's the hardest part. So once that's behind you, you're good. Okay, let's get started. Now let's talk about your role as a Tiger Den leader. Your goal as a Den leader is to help each Cub Scout in your den achieve their Tiger badge of rank. The activities they will do are specifically aimed at first graders and were thoughtfully designed by experts to drive character development and introduce leadership skills, personal fitness, and citizenship. Remember, you are required to have at least one other registered adult leader who is 21 years of age or older with you at every den meeting. And every Tiger Cub Scout is required to have an adult partner with them at all times in Cub Scouting. So a tip from experienced Cub Scout leaders is to have every parent register as a leader in the pack. You know, you can always do that trick where you make it look like they're signing up to win a new car or a cruise or something. <laughs> you know what, actually don't do that because I might get in trouble, so. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> getting them to sign up ensures that there is always enough registered adult leaders for meetings and activities. Okay, now for the nuts and bolts. With Scoutbook, we've taken the hard part of planning meetings out of the equation for you by organizing all of the adventures for the Tiger Badge of Rank into about a dozen required meetings. So gone are the days of tracking each scout's advancement and meticulously keeping up with where each is in the process in Excel or on paper. Simply follow the meeting plan laid out in the scout book and you'll lead your den through all of the fun and educational adventures of the Tiger Rank. It's literally that simple. Here are the adventures you'll cover as you follow the plan in scout book for the required meetings. The Protect Yourself Rules is focused on personal safety awareness. Games Tigers Play is focused on teamwork. My Tiger Jungle exposes Cub Scouts to their natural surroundings. Team Tiger focuses on participatory citizenship. Tiger Bites introduces Cub Scouts to personal fitness. Tiger Circle's Duty to God allows Cub Scouts to explore their faith within their own family. Tigers in the Wild gets everyone outdoors. Once you've completed the required meetings, there's also a growing treasure trove of elective meeting plans available in Scoutbook for you to choose from that are full of fun and educational activities the kids will love. Now apart from the meetings, your scouts only have one thing left to do to earn the Tiger Badge of Rank. Along with their parent or guardian, your scouts need to review the pamphlet, How to Protect Your Children from Abuse, and complete the exercises inside. A printable version of the pamphlet is available for download in the resources section of Scoutbook. Here are some tips from experienced Tiger Den leaders. As mentioned earlier, it is a requirement in Tigers for an adult partner, usually a parent, to attend every meeting and outing with their Cub Scout. A method of the Tiger Den meeting is to share responsibilities with those adult partners. So help get the parents involved. There are plenty of ways to do that. Helping to prepare for meetings, helping out with the activities, or even cleaning up. If you don't ask for help, they may assume you don't want any. First graders are still developing emotionally and physically. The activities in the adventures take this into consideration. We know that children all develop at their own rate, so make sure that adult partners are working with their Cub Scout in your den, who may need a little help, not just with the physical task, but those who may need emotional encouragement. Let me leave you with this tip. Keep it fun, make it simple, enjoy the experience, play the games with your Cub Scouts, don't overthink the requirements, and keep in mind that all we're asking for is a child to do their best. All right, are you ready? You're gonna have a blast. The parents of the other Cub Scouts have confidence in you, and so do we. 